Stuff is here. Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. Happy Friday to you at home. It is time for our Friday Great Debate. Joining us now, as always, from the uh, Democratic side, former strategist and former consultant for the Department of Homeland Security, Mustafa Tamiz, and the former Lieutenant Governor of New York and Newsmax contributor, Betsy McCoy. There is Mustafa. Good morning to you. Big smile, as always. Uh, Betsy, good to see you. Today's question, appropriate given the circumstances, should a special counsel be appointed to look into Hunter Biden's laptop scandal? Mustafa, first to you. Good morning. Good morning. Look, um, I think this has been it, it just studied, overstudied, more information. It's between Rudy Giuliani and others that have smeared this thing over time. Uh, look, we know Hunter Biden had, had an addiction problem. We know that. We know there were some things on the on the device that were leaked to Chinese media and spread out, made it look like it's coming from China. We know all of these things, but at the end of the day, this has become candy uh, for the conservative right to keep throwing it out to their base. And at some point, Mustafa, we have to, I, we, I, I, I hear what you're war. saying. I, I don't think it's candy for the conservative right. I think this might be the biggest I told you so in modern political history. Take a listen to how Jonah Goldberg characterized the Hunter Biden laptop this week. If only the media had told us about the laptop at the time, as the kid yesterday was suggesting, which I don't buy his you know, theory, that Trump would have won. You know, but for the censoring of the New York Post, Trump would have won. And it's, I think it's a preposterous counterfactual. Okay, Betsy, it's not a counterfactual. Right. According to the Media Research Center, 50% of voters, nearly 50% of voters, did not have any knowledge of Hunter Biden's laptop prior to the 2020 election. And 10% said had they known about it, they would have changed their vote from Joe Biden to Donald Trump. Betsy, to you. And let's look at the national security issues now. The fact is that Hunter Biden and his business partner, Devin Archer, who's already doing time in federal prison, right, uh, exploited... Joe Biden's uh, position as vice president to carve out these very lucrative deals in Ukraine, China, and Russia. And every time Joe Biden was asked about it, he denied it, including in an October 30th, 2020 presidential debate. It turns out he was lying because now the evidence is clear that the senior Biden met with these foreign business partners at restaurants in Washington, played golf with them, even wrote college recommendations for the children of Jonathan Lee, one of the Chinese business partners whose kids wanted to go to Georgetown and Brown. So fast forward, we now have a Delaware U.S. attorney looking into these issues. The, but high so, national so, so, security so is involved. What, wait a second. What does Ukraine and the China and Russia have on the Biden family? All right, Betsy, let's bring it Mustafa may be back why, in. It may be why Biden is slow walking just, aid to Ukraine or being is, timid toward that's, China. That's that's a question worth asking. Absolutely. Mustafa, to you. Unbelievable. Some college recommendations for somebody very tertiary is somehow going to change the election. The I'm not talking about changing whoa, 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 the election. Betsy, I'm hold talking on. Let me just, about let me just, national security hold on. now. Time out, time out, time out. Mustafa, we're, we just found out about the college recommendation. I'm talking about what we first learned about 18 months ago prior to the 2020 election that we all weren't allowed to talk about. How about this? Here's a little list. Okay, the president's brother took a $17 million wire from communist China. Prostitutes, big tech conspiracy. The president, the president's brother, the president's son, Hollywood hotels, illegal drugs like cocaine, uh, diamonds. It's got everything. Palace it, intrigue. It, How is just, this not a major story? Just because you string a bunch of words that seem sustain, sensational does not mean that the facts and evidence. Every have one of those words can it. be tied back to right. an email Listen, or a photograph. You know, if I if I say and is or that, it can be tied to everything. <laughs> On a practical matter, Russia, which has nuclear weapons, is sending tanks over its border encouraging a European country. These are the things Wait, that we whoa, should whoa, be Whoa, 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 let me pump the brake. Mustafa, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. These are the things we, that The we question was, should a special counsel be appointed this to investigate the Hunter these, Biden laptop and answer? Mustafa, it, I will it, give you time. You're talking about Russian tanks rolling into Ukraine. That is certainly a big topic, and we have talked about that a lot on our Friday debates. Today, the topic is Hunter Biden's laptop. And should we finally give the American people what they deserve, accurate, real, honest answers to questions that we've all had for almost two years? 
Betsy, go ahead. Well, and I'd like to know not only the impact on the past election, that's over. What I'd really like to know is whether this information about the Biden family's dealings in Russia Just and Ukraine and China are having an impact Just on foreign true. policy today. Everyone saw how true. timid Biden has been toward it, China. Everyone has seen how true. reluctant Biden is to provide not all true. the weapons Ukraine needs. What do these other countries have on That's the Biden the crime family? War, instead of backing the American president, we're trying to back the other side. Mustafa, We're you keep talking about Russia the war propaganda. in Ukraine and Joe he's Biden like he's FD. Mustafa, hold on. Just stop yelling. No one at home can hear what you're saying. Settle down. Settle down. Hold on. I'll give you a second to give your final thought. You bring this up every week. We support the American president. We support NATO. We support the Ukrainian people. That is not the topic right now. And Joe Biden is not FDR in the Second World War right now. The topic is Hunter Biden and a special counsel. I'll give you one final opportunity to answer the initial question. Should a special counsel be appointed to investigate Hunter Biden's laptop, a story which broke 18 months ago, which was silenced by big tech in unison with the Democratic Party to get their guy, the big guy, Joe Biden elected. Go ahead, Mustafa. Final thought. How is it silenced when we keep talking about it over and over again for 18 months? Where is it silence if we've been talking about it for 18 months? Let's be real. A lot of this is spin that has come no. from both Russian intelligence and Chinese intelligence oh, to boy. drive a wow. wedge between American oh, politics. Mustafa, I, are you still verbalizing? We've, we've leave, panel, we've got to leave it there. I can't believe Russia disinformation. We're hearing as, that again. As always, you know what I'm going to do? Just to end this cleanly, <laughs> I want to end this with a Brian Stelter soundbite. It's like a six-second soundbite. Right. But this is Brian Stelter of CNN characterizing how CNN has covered the Hunter Biden laptop. Take a listen. Thank you very much, Mustafa Tamiz, Betsy McCoy. Take a listen to Brian Stelter. <laughs> of the mainstream media and CNN in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? It's too bad, it's time for lunch. I think you're describing a different channel than the one that I watch. Uh, but I understand that that is a popular right-wing narrative about CNN. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.